Now that you're divorced, you are going to have a lot of alone time. Learn to love the alone time. Being alone sucks. If you ask most people, they're going to say that. If you ask me, I'm not going to tell you that. I will tell you that when I was first divorced, and I've been divorced twice, each time I was divorced, I was very forlorn, I was very depressed, I was alone, I, I was very disorienting, I had nobody in my life, nobody to go to the movies with, or whatever you're going to do. But what I quickly learned was that alone time is the most valuable time that I have. In that alone time, I've learned to become a top writer. I have a TV show. I do all sorts of things to help men. I do charity work. I enfolded my career in many ways. And I probably would not have been able to do that when I was in my relationship. And the ultimate benefit of that is now when I meet somebody, I meet a woman out there that I'm considering being with, I have something to measure her against. I'm not measuring time with her against time being alone. So her standard is not loneliness. Her standard is my big, amazing life. So I know that if she's going to be in my life and I want to spend time with her, she better be better or equal to that alone time or add something to it. So valuing you, learning to value that alone time and learning to make it productive is going to help you make extremely better choices in how you pick your next mate. So make your alone time count. Enjoy it. Learn to love it. Learn to value it. It's going to give you a bigger, happier life.